Hey Techno Bros viewers, this is Adam from the Techno Bros, and today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different. If you haven't already heard already, PlayStation has announced their PlayStation Now streaming service, which basically allows you to play past generation games like from the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 1. It is going to be launching in North America on January 13th of this year, which is actually pretty great, knowing that we get this service as soon as possible. Along with that, there's also going to be 100 plus PlayStation 3 games at the moment when it launches. But the only issue with me is, most of these games, they don't really seem that interesting. The only two games that really struck out to me were The Last of Us and Uncharted. I've already played The Last of Us on PlayStation 4, so there's no reason for me to play it again on PlayStation 3, where it will be worse quality. And then Uncharted, I'm not necessarily interested in that series as much as I am for the Uncharted 4. I want to get my opinions from Uncharted 4 and then go back from there and basically make my opinions off the best of the, the best of the best that they have. Because if they started on the PlayStation 3 and then go to the PlayStation 4, then that means Uncharted 4 should, by theory, be the best one. But there's no telling. And if Uncharted 4 is not a good game, then I don't plan on going back to the, few, the past few games on the PlayStation 3. But anyway, the subscription fees are $20 a month and $45 a month. And you can clearly tell that $45 is cheaper than $20 a month. Because if you add that up three months, that would be $60 if you pay per month versus paying $45 per quarter. Then again, the prices, even though they may seem a little bit cheap when you look at them by month basis, it doesn't really add up because if you go by each quarter, if you pay $45 every three months, that means you would pay $180 a year for the service. And looking at the 100 plus games that they have now, most of them are not interesting, like I said before. Some of the, the worst games that probably no one is going to play on the service are Ben 10 and Pac-Man. Pac-Man is one of the um, major icons in gaming history, but still, who wants to play Pac-Man in this day and age? Not that many people. I don't plan on getting a PlayStation Now service. If you do, then I guess you must not have played any of the PlayStation 3 games, and you must just you must have just had an Xbox 360. That would be the only thing that would I would understand somebody getting their service because looking at the games now, some of these games are cross generation too. So why would you even need to pay for the service? But if Sony came out with new games for the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 on this streaming service, then this will become a more valuable deal. Because if you could play something like Crash Bandicoot on the PlayStation 4, who wouldn't want to do that? Spiral the Dragon, things of that nature. The, the, it's, it's just limitless to how many different games they have. And for Sony not to capitalize that on the launch, it kind of makes sense. But at the same time, who is who is who who actually is going to be paying for the service now? To play PlayStation 3 games and even there's still a lot of people still on last generation consoles it doesn't make a lot of sense for Sony to put so much attention on PlayStation 3 games when there's still people on their servers and you would be better off just paying for the games that you wanted off this list like The Last of Us for that system than having to pay for a streaming service where you would uh, basically have unlimited access to them but you would just be paying way too much for what these games are worth like I said The Last of Us is on PlayStation 4 so why wouldn't you just get it on PlayStation 4 but anyway if you like this episode, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is Adam from the Techno Bro signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright guys, peace.